As you deploy Hadoop, you almost certainly will use Hive as part of your solution in some way. So let's take a look at it. Facebook started its site using MySQL as the data storage and query backend. But when it got to a certain scale, it really wouldn't fit a SQL technology anymore. It needed to switch to a non-SQL platform using MapReduce. The problem is it's analysts new SQL, but they didn't know Java. They couldn't create Java-based MapReduce programs and submit those through Hadoop or any other kind of a MapReduce system. So Facebook had a dilemma. Should it teach these analysts Java and have them start using MapReduce directly? And they decided not to. They decided instead they were going to create some kind of technology that their SQL analysts could keep using SQL, but access the data that would now be stored in Hadoop. And that technology was called Hive. Hive is really made up of a couple of components. One is a metadata layer that maps underlying HDFS as columns so that it can be queried much like a, a regular table. And then there's a translation layer that takes each SQL statement that's written and translates that into a MapReduce program that then is sent through the normal MapReduce process that we talked about in the last lesson. The benefit here is the end users, they're using SQL, they're seeing SQL, and they see output that looks like it came from a relational database. But Hadoop sees MapReduce, which it needs to do its work and distribute queries to multiple nodes. So here's an example of what Hive kind of does. Let's say that we have Excel and we want to get data from an external source. We might use a Hive ODBC driver to submit a query like this one. Select city and count of customers in each city where, where that city has more than 10,000 customers. Okay, fairly basic. So we would send that to the ODBC driver from Excel. Excel thinks it's talking to just a SQL database. The Hive ODBC driver then sends that command into the Hive system, which is going through TCP. And what Hive does is it translates the SQL that it sent into Java programs, a map program, a reduce program, and it sends those on to Hadoop. So from Hadoop's point of view, it never sees the SQL, it just sees the Java and the translation is being done behind the scenes. Now Hadoop produces its results, sends it back to Hive. Hive then translates that into something that looks like rows and columns and pushes that back through the ODBC driver. So you get a table in Excel.